And now it's time to talk to, uh, we got celebrities in here. Yeah, we do. You know, it's like, uh, you know, just when you think that, uh, that you know, you've, you've been around the coolest people in the world yeah. and somebody raises the bar. Right. We got the folks at Bright Insurance, business of the year, man. 100 years, do, and it only took you 100 years to get there, but that's really <laughs> Slow and steady, right? Yeah. So, uh, so tell me, how was it whenever you uh, you found out last night, and did you know anything ahead of time? I mean, did they pull the wool over your eyes? I mean, what happened? I, I was totally fooled. I did not uh, expect anything. I've got uh, two employees who are Red Coke ambassadors, mm -hmm. um, and they knew what was going on. So I'm gonna have to talk to them when I get back about secrets that they keep. Oh, so, um, so yes, I was. Somebody's gonna get something in their permanent file. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was, I was, I was shocked. Um, uh, very humbled. Uh, I, I don't. Uh, I, I wish Denny would have been here to accept this award. Uh, he put so much uh, love and energy into the into the business, and you know, Brad and I come along and just kind of kind of step in and get to be the ones to get our picture taken. So it's it's very humbling. Well, Brad, you know, you have been there with your dad the whole time when the Things are going. I mean, what did it mean to you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. Yeah, so, a lot of emotions. Yeah, it was just one of those things that you know we. I just kind of stepped back and started thinking. I was like, you know, do I really deserve this, or you know, or everybody there at the office? Right. So, because right. they're the ones that truly do it. I'm just a pretty face and a name on the side of the building. <laughs> well, that's a good one. And I know, son, you've been there for almost 40 years. 36 in May. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. You're 35 yeah. years because you were there. Yes, I will be, in May will be 36 years, and I feel very honored to be sitting in between these two guys, and yeah, I was shocked too. Uh, the two ladies, they, I fell for it. I even helped them get information about Brian and Trista's history, and I didn't even know why. You know, so I, I was in tears last night. I was you know, and we, we all wished that everybody at the agency could have been there. You know, we didn't know about it, so it didn't happen. But uh, I immediately, of course, you know what I did. About 30 seconds after they awarded, I started sending out emails oh, yeah. to every, all the staff and started hearing back from everybody. And we're just very honored and very thankful for the community and Graham. And I mean, it's got to mean a lot to you, Tommy. You know, 100 years a business still rolling for over a hundred years, yeah. taking care of the needs. I mean, I, I know there's no way you can put a number on it, but how many, how many people you think over the years that just countless numbers of people have been, uh, their lives have been touched or changed by Brian Insurance? Oh, wow. Yeah, you can't put a number on that. Uh, you know, back in, in 1921, uh, uh, Pat Bryan Sr., who was a, a lumberyard manager here in Graham, mm -hmm. uh, decided that he was gonna go into the insurance business and. and started selling life insurance. Um, uh, you know, all the people that were affected through that, and he, he won many uh, uh, awards. Uh, he was a million dollar salesperson. Uh, so you know he affected a lot of families just on his own. And then Pat Bryan Jr. coming in and expanding the business to do property and casualty. Um, and you know, we're, we're not just Graham, Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we do business all over the state. We do business in uh, other states. Um, so just the number of people that are touched through the insurance products we sell uh, to put their businesses back in order, put their homes back in order, uh, you know, to pay the life insurance. Uh, you, you know, it's it's really unfathomable to think about how many people are touched by this business over the past hundred years. It's pretty wild to think about. You know, I came on board with Brian Insurance back, gosh, in and the eighties. Nineteen eighty four when 84. we met. Yes. I know. And uh, <laughs> and they were out there uh, on Highway sixteen. Do y'all know where the original locations were or anything like that, or where they started out at here in town? Um, a few of them. Uh, they they were in the bank uh, back when the bank was uh, a little further uh, north on Elm Street. I believe the first office uh, was in the Johnson Building, which is where Welch's Western Wear was. Oh, okay. Where he is. It was upstairs there, and, and downstairs, I believe, was a uh, uh, pharmacy. Hmm, that's pretty wild to yeah. think about. Brad, how was it? You used to run around in Brian Insurance as a little kid. Now you're uh, now you're helping run the place. What's up? How oh, I'm still running around. That's true. I, you know, one of my favorite memories was like jumping off those stairs at the old office mm -hmm. on 16, or Cindy Townley having that couch in her office. So now I got the couch in my office, which is kind of cool. <laughs> so I always like telling stories about when I was growing up throughout the agency, and we have these little bond seals that I used to crimp every single piece of paper I could get my hands on. 
I made everything official. Look at this post-it notes. Bam! Yeah. Official. <laughs> so and don't forget the cookie safe. Oh, there's the cookie safe. Miss Anne had her desk. It was this old metal desk with that uh -huh. fake wood on top. But it had this huge metal door, and she kept cookies in there, and it was the cookie safe. Ah. <laughs> and then we had the Gemini system, which was this massive server. One of we were the one of the first independent agencies to be computerized in the state of Texas. And I swear, this thing was like 10 feet wide, 20 feet tall. Now I was probably two feet tall at the time, <laughs> but at the you know it was just amazing to see how far beyond we are than most others. Well, so, it does seem to me like, you know, I've been to a lot of meetings with Sonia and stuff, is looking at the cutting edge of technology of insurance. I mean, you wouldn't think it. You think, okay, well, you know, you're going there, you pay your money, and if I have a wreck, then, but there's a whole lot more to it than that. And one thing I know about Brian Insurance, and I can say this for a fact, is that not only do they just, they're not just an insurance company, they're a company that actually cares about your business and your life and all that sort of stuff. So, I mean, that's gotta make you feel good. Yeah, I have to brag, um, you know, nobody was expecting 2020. <laughs> and um, ta it, it's all Tommy uh, with our technology. We were able to send everybody home to work seamlessly. It was so easy because we already had the technology in place to do that. and. So our customers didn't experience any interruption in service. And so that was a pretty big deal because you know a lot of agencies that I talked to, uh, other people that I know over the state of Texas and some other states really had a tough time because they weren't prepared to send everybody home. And so yeah, that, and that was a big deal because to taking care of our customers is what it's all about. Well, I know it's a, it was a tough, tough year and a lot of folks uh, had a little tough with it. Congratulations on getting business of the year. Well, thank that, you very that's, much. that's pretty uh, pretty incredible. And we can't tell you how much we appreciate you guys, uh, you know, helping us out here, sponsoring our weather and sports and different things. And uh, we very much appreciate it. And we like bragging on all of our sponsors, and we appreciate y'all very, very much. And if folks need to get a hold of you, Brad, you always enjoy doing this. How <laughs> do they do it? Well, they can call us at 940-549-2525 or visit us on the web at brianins.com or come see us on the second floor of the Sierra Bank building. And I want to put in one more plug. When okay. you go to brianins.com, which is Brian with a Y, you will see some information about a um, seminar that we're, uh, along with some of our insurance companies, are hosting on mm -hmm. February the 10th. And uh, you can register. You have to register due to pro uh, COVID protocols. We can only have so many people. It's about maximizing the savings on your commercial insurance. It is uh, educational. It's not sales. We're not trying to sell you anything. It's educational. So go on the online or call our office to check that out because that deadline is coming up pretty quick. Well, go check out the website. See what you need. If you have insurance needs, you have a business, home, you know, your, your cars, I mean, you name it, uh, they can help you out. So uh, go by and check it out and, and uh, give them a call and let them help you out.